I'm Bill Lewis, CEO of Lee Crutcher Lewis, a Pacific Northwest-based building contractor. We use virtual design on lots of our projects in project-specific ways. Recent examples include work at the University of Oregon, 635 Elliott, 6th and Lenora, and the Interurban Project. Virtual design, like other tools, is best used in a focused way where it brings the most value. It's really about having smart people in the field that are motivated, know how to use the tools, know how to design them for the project-specific challenges, and bring value to the job. My name's David Brossard. I'm a senior project manager. Interurban is a job for Amazon. They're moving 5,000 people out of their former headquarters into our building, so it was really important for us to get this job built extremely quickly and get their people in and working as fast as possible. Interurban had in excess of 10,000 embedded anchors and embedded plates to connect the various parts of the work to this concrete structure. The beauty of VDC was a, a way for us to organize all of that information in one place and then be able to manage the installation of those pieces. We could go through each discipline's drawings, for instance the precaster's drawings, and take all of his dimensional and connection information and put that onto a single sheet of paper. It allowed us to do a really rapid pour sequence with a very complex structure. Lewis aspires to be a leader in VDC technology. We find it's a powerful tool in creating satisfied customers and successful projects. My name is Tony Johnson and I'm a superintendent for Lee Scratcher Lewis. One of the main challenges on the Six of Lenore project was the duration for construction. The owner wanted us to build this project in 21 months. Using the VDC process, we were able to coordinate the transition of one trade to another in each pour cycle. And in doing this, we reduced the time of each pour cycle by one day. This was a total of approximately a month saving to the process, which translated to quite a few dollars for the owner. We want to be proactive in finding solutions to your problems. I'm Matt Pearson with uh, Lee Scratcher Lewis. I'm operations manager out of the Portland office. The University of Oregon Science Complex was a very complex project tying into four adjacent buildings with a very constrained site. We felt the only way to properly communicate this information was using virtual design. So when we were creating the virtual model, what ended up happening, we realized that where the architects had placed the basement wall relative to the existing tunnel actually did not allow room to form the tunnel. The team had two options. One is to move it inboard and lose three feet of basement or actually increase the size of the basement by uh, about a thousand square feet. And the cost of that actually ended up being a net zero so they get more square footage for zero dollars. The client was pretty amazed that virtual design was able to come up with constructability issues before we had even gone through the process of schematic design. It really allows us to provide an incredible service to our client, improve that service that we've been providing for over 125 years. My name is Jeff Clater. I'm the Commercial Division Manager with Lee Crutcher Lewis. Traditionally what happens in the industry is we review a number of different disparate shop drawings and try to coordinate those, mark them up, and return them to the subcontractors, which is marginally effective. We actually took it the next step on 635 Elliott and built a physical mock-up, which was an improvement, but about three quarters of the way through the process we realized, geez, if we did this virtually, we'd be able to get all the trades around a conference room table together, build it together, see how one trade's work interface with the other trade's work, and really speed up the process and do what took us two months building a physical mock-up in the matter of a couple of days. In addition to that, the end product of the virtual mock-up can be installation drawings for the guys in the field. Because regardless of the amount of coordination effort you do, the installation is only as good as the mechanic in the field installing the work. And so what we do is we take the virtual mock-up, we come up with assembly drawings that show the installer step by step by step what he needs to do to have a quality installation, which really helps our quality control in the field. Here at Lewis, we're committed to virtual design. It's making a big difference. We're building our projects more quickly and cheaper, and it's gonna get better.